Hey, what's up, you guys? It's David Interheaven, and we are back with another video. Congratulations to Lewis Hamilton. Spoiler alert: He has won his fifth championship of the race. Now, hold on. He has won his fifth championship of alt, you know, like in his career, and he didn't even finish the podium. He finished fifth. He finished fifth. It was actually no, he finished fourth. My bad. Bottas finished fifth. It was Verstappen. Vettel, Raikkonen, Hamilton, Bottas, Hulkenberg. But man, this race was kind of kind of boring and kind of crazy at the same time. I mean, there was a lot of passes, which is very, very good because if there's passes in Formula 1, overtakes in Formula 1, that means it's a lot more exciting. But I just want to get something off my chest. They said this, I just heard this from the commentary. Lewis Hamilton, the last person to win... Back-to-back -back championships in the same venue was Fernando Alonso at Inter Largos in Brazil. Hamilton's done that because he won last year in Mexico, and now he's done it this year in Mexico, and he wasn't even on the podium. That's how consistent Lewis Hamilton is. That proves to him, that proves to everybody how consistent he is. Because he didn't even have to finish on the podium, and he won the championship from all the races that have happened this year. I mean, some of the races were, you know, like Beto made a mistake, and that really cost him. But congratulations to Max Verstappen for winning his fifth race of the season, and he's officially 21 years old, or 20 years old if I'm right. Heineken, of course, seeing the sponsor. Yeah, the podium celebration is actually going on right now. And big ups to Kimi Raikkonen. This guy is competitive each week for Ferrari, and I just want to get a theory out there, guys. Vettel doesn't make Vettel makes a lot of mistakes, and he he eventually comes back from them. But imagine if Ferrari had. Alonso on their team. I ain't saying nothing because if Ferrari had Alonso on their team, Alonso does not make mistakes. Alonso does not make slip ups when it comes to being a world title challenge. If he half the time when he's been in a world title challenge and he hasn't won, it's because of the the team, the team I put him in there. 2010 is a perfect example. The team got him out behind Vitaly Petrov, couldn't get past Petrov, ended up losing the world championship. To Sebastian Vettel. I'm just really wondering. Fernando's leaving. Ferrari. Why you said Charles Leclerc is a very good guy, but come on, you could put Fernando up there. Fernando has more experience than Sebastian Vettel. Even though he does not have world, more world championships, I don't care. Fernando Alonso is an overall better driver than Sebastian Vettel. But back to the race. It was it was a decent race, but the guy I feel so sorry for in this race was Daniel Ricardo. I don't even know if Daniel Ricciardo would have got second because he was he was in second when he had the problem. But this guy has had eight retirements this season. This guy is probably the most unluckiest driver of the season besides my guy. Because my guy didn't even, didn't even make it past the first five laps. And it wasn't even his fault again. He didn't even seem like he cared. He was He's just ready to move on to the next point. But Daniel Ricciardo, he was in second. And then his engine failed. You gotta be kidding me, right? His engine failed. This is actually turning into a joke how many times he's, you know, like, he's retired. And... I feel so sorry for this guy. I, I, I'm glad this guy is going to Renault next year. A whole new start for him. And I would hope that Renault engine doesn't disappoint him. I hope the Han... I don't want to hope this, but... I feel like... I hope he does bounce back with Renault and becomes better with Renault than he is with Rebels. So he can really challenge his old teammate Verstappen. And they can battle for the world championship with Lewis Hamilton. But on to Lewis Hamilton and his five championships. Do I think Lewis Hamilton will tie Michael Schumacher's seven championships? No. I really don't. Because there's a lot of young drivers. A lot of very good young drivers that are going to be in top teams next year. And I don't think Lewis Hamilton's going to have... You know, like, they're going to challenge Lewis Hamilton. Sebastian Vettel is getting into past his prime. And then you have Verstappen. You have Charles Leclerc. You have Lando Norris. Who's coming to the team? George Russell is gonna be in the Williams, and he's probably gonna go to Force India. You have Lance Stroll is gonna be in the Force India. Then you have Bottas who could challenge him. There's a lot of drivers that could challenge Hamilton um, next year in 2019. But when it comes to this season, Lewis Hamilton has just been consistent, 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 and has won him his fifth championship, which makes him tied with Fangio, the Argentinian Formula One driver. And there's only one person for him to catch in race wins and in championships. And that's Michael Schumacher. And if you remember, guys, he 
He's on 70 wins. 21 wins away from Michael Schumacher's record. The wins record, he will definitely catch. The championship's record, he will not catch because the Formula 1 is going to get too tough for him. And he's not going to be able to catch up. And plus, I actually honestly feel like Hamilton's going to retire. If he doesn't win the championship next year, Hamilton retires. That's it. End of story. Then somebody moves into Mercedes. I hope Esteban Ocon stays in the sport because that would be a perfect time for Esteban Ocon to come in. Either that or him and George Russell to come in to Mercedes team and they just start dominating for Mercedes. But that's it for the Mexican Grand Prix reaction. The other finishers were like Gasly, Van Dorn who finished 8th. But that was only due to retirement so I really won't count that. Even though he did beat Fernando Alonso, but Fernando Alonso did, Fernando Alonso would have beat him if he didn't have anything. But anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys for all the support on these past few videos, and please do the smash the like button. Peace.